Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia, if you're new here. And today I'm just going to kind of bring you along on a really fun, I guess, Saturday. I have no idea what is in store for today. We're just going to kind of play it by ear. Um, right now I am obviously in my car. I'm on my way to go drop off a big bag of clothes to a donation center. If you watched my previous vlog, you'll know that I cleaned out my closet recently, switched over everything from summer to fall slash winter, and I had a lot of clothes to get rid of that I just don't wear. Um, so I would rather just give it to somebody who actually needs it. There's a guy here who is painting and he's probably looking at me like, why is she talking to a camera? Anyway, that's my first stop. I also need to get my car cleaned. Uh, so we're going to do that. Also need coffee. That's a must. So we're going to stop at Starbucks. I have some things to return to like Whole Foods um, through Amazon. So I need to do that. Um, I was trying to do like the reusable capsules for my Nespresso and they just weren't working. It was coming out with like coffee grinds in it and all. It was just a mess. So we are returning those. I got my regular Nespresso pods and life is good. So we're doing that. And then we're just going to go to the mall, I guess, um, see what they have. I want to see if I can like kind of complete my fall slash winter wardrobe. I don't know. We'll see what's out there. It depends what the stores have. And it might be mobbed today. Today is Saturday, so it depends on how the stores are today and what they have left if they're not like already cleaned out. So without further ado, let's get this day started. Lightning strikes by my window It's my chest right in the morning Like a warning Could have slept here for days So I just pulled up to the King of Prussia Mall. If you know anything about like the Philadelphia area, this mall is like the biggest mall um, in the area. It has so many good stores. They have like Aritzia, Zara, um, a lot of like luxury stores. They have Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, like all those really nice stores. Sephora, like you name it, you can find it here. So I love coming to this mall. Um, so I just got my car washed. I feel so much better when my car is clean. I don't know about you guys, but I thrive off of a nice clean environment no matter where I am. So I feel so much better now that my car is clean. So we are going to run in to the mall and just see what we can find. I don't really know, like I don't have anything specific in mind of like what I need or want. So we're just going to kind of like window shop browse and see what's good so let's head on in so i would say my trip was pretty successful um i hit up what did i hit up i hit up h and m I stopped in to Forever 21 really quickly just because I wanted to look at like pajamas. When it comes to pajamas, I'm not like really picky on quality. So I was okay with going into Forever 21 for that. Um, you know, to me, pajamas are pajamas. You're sleeping in them, but you know, I mean, as long as they're like soft and cozy, then it's fine. I don't know. Um, so I grabbed a pair of pajamas. And then I went into Zara and I found a really cute pair of loafers. I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, they're very different than like the plain all black loafers that you see everywhere. In fact, I had posted a TikTok um, 
maybe like a month ago or so, sharing a pair of black loafers that I had purchased from Zara. And they just, they were a little too big for me. Um, so I returned them. But that TikTok like blew up. It went viral. Um, well, somewhat viral. And I cannot find them anywhere. Like I cannot repurchase them in my size. But I found this new pair today. They are very different from like any other loafer that I've seen. Um, and I think I can make them work with a lot of different outfits. So I'm very excited to show these to you guys. Um, I, when I get home, I will show everything to you guys. I'll do like a little haul when we get home. But um, I was also very excited that Pressed finally opened. I have been waiting like all summer for Pressed to open. So I went and got myself the avocado greens smoothie. So I'm going to drink this on the way home. I haven't even eaten yet today. <laughs> so I'm starving. Um, I did, when I was at Starbucks earlier, I did grab a slice of the pumpkin loaf. So it's been sitting in my car ever since. I'm going to eat that on the way home. But I do need to like eat something a little more nutritious and substantial. <laughs> so I'm going to grab something to eat when I get home. I'll make something, whip something up that's in my fridge or freezer. We'll figure it out when we get home. But yeah, I'm very happy with how productive I have been today. Um, like I said in my previous vlog, if you haven't seen it, I did say that I was very happy that I was able to go through my wardrobe and kind of clean everything out and see where I stood as far as like rebuilding my wardrobe because now I can really see like what do I have, what am I missing to kind of, so I'm building like a capsule wardrobe they call it just like staple pieces that I feel like are very versatile that I can wear for many years to come as long as I take care of it. So um, I'm really glad that I did that and it made shopping today so much easier. So I highly recommend that everyone go through ev at least twice a year, like going from summer to fall and then maybe after the fall into summer. Um, just going through your closet and if you haven't worn it in the past year, get rid of it. Um, and then that way you're not like building up so many different clothes and you really get a sense of like how your style has evolved over time and where you stand with building your wardrobe. Um, I just, I think it's a great idea. Um, I don't know why I haven't done this sooner. <laughs> so yeah. So we are now going to head home. Maybe take the doggy for a nice little walk because it's beautiful outside. Excuse me. It is 53 degrees outside, but it doesn't feel that cold because the sun is, is shining. So it's a beautiful day to take him for a walk. So we're going to take him for a nice long walk around the neighborhood when we get home. And then we'll fill the hall for, film the hall for you guys. So I'll see you guys when we get home. I just got home and this is what I came home to. Hi, baby boy. For those of you who don't know, this is Vader, my two-year-old Boston Terrier. And he is the cutest little man ever. So we love his little sweater because he gets so cold. You want to go for a walk? Vader. Vader, you want to go for a walk? Huh? You want to go for a walk? All right, let's go. Let's go. So I have to tell you guys, the reason why his sweater is like rolled up is so that he doesn't go potty on it because he squats. So we have to roll it up because otherwise he will end up going potty on it. You're a mess, kid. You're a mess. <laughs> he just looked at me like, mom. But it is absolutely gorgeous today. By the way, I feel like Vader and I match. With like the black and white and the sweater situation going on. Does anybody else feel like they look like their dogs sometimes? I heard that's like a legitimate thing. That like you can look like your dog after a certain amount of time. But today we're just, it's a vibe. We're matching. 
Okay, now that we are back home, it's time to do a haul. I'm going to show you everything that I got while I was at the mall earlier. Let's start with H&M because that's where I got like the majority of my stuff. So the first thing that I got was this neutral sweater. You guys know by now I'm all about the neutrals. And I love this one because it's got like that like cashmere feel to it. And I just wanted like a simple pullover sweater. And I got my true size, a small. This one was only $34.99. I will try and find it and link it below along with everything else that I show you in this haul. So that's this guy here. And I'm super excited. You can even like wear this over an outfit. This would be really cute to wear like draped over like this. I plan on doing that with a bunch of outfits. So I'm really excited to pick that up. And then just for something like a little more dressy, uh, because I do want to also build up the dressier side of my wardrobe, especially for like church dinners, things like that. I did pick up this beige. Are we surprised? <laughs> this beige button down blouse. And I also got to choose true to size, size small. This was only $17.99 guys. This would go great with like a nice pair of fitted trousers. Um, I do have a pair of those from Anthropology that I could pair this with. These you could actually even kind of like dress down a little bit with a bit, nice pair of jeans. Maybe tuck like the one side in, leave the other side untucked and then pair it with a pair of um, mules. Those would look really nice with that whole outfit. And then you could actually even throw that sweater on top of this and that would look really cute. So need to pick that up if you guys don't already own something like that in your wardrobe. And then this was the last shirt that I got from H&M. I had been searching everywhere for just some kind of like black and white striped sweater and I didn't find a sweater per se, but I did find this crew neck and it's this guy right here and again true to size this was only $19.99 um I don't know what this is it says studio serenity on it I'm not fussy about that but I just thought this was so cute it's actually very very soft on the inside so it's going to be nice and cozy and like if you can see it doesn't hit too low so you can actually tuck this in um, in the front and it would actually look really cute. So can't wait to lounge around in this guy. The last two things that I got from H&M were just accessories. Um, I really had been searching high and low for some like lounge socks just while I'm like at home. My main job is I work from home. Um, and now that we're getting into the colder weather, I needed something to keep my feet warm. So sticking with the neutral theme, I found these um, wool blend. I, I didn't know what they were made of. So these wool blend socks and the tops of them are like this ribbed uh, pattern, which I love. So these would look so cute with any kind of like loungewear outfit. Um, had to have these in my wardrobe. I wanted just like a very, very simple, plain, shoulder black bag and i didn't feel like looking for one that costs a ton of money and i have to say something here i don't really believe in to have a good wardrobe that you have to spend a lot of money it's okay <laughs> if you don't have something from nordstrom's or if you have like something designer all the time or if you don't have anything designer that's okay if you only shop at like H&M or Forever 21 or Amazon even, that's okay. You can totally make things fashionable and make it you no matter what the price is. Um, so I just wanted to put that out there. Like it doesn't matter where your things come from. It matters like how you wear them and how you make it your, your style, how you make it you, how you make it unique to you. So I found this guy at H&M. So cute. And it's just, it kind of reminds me of like that. If you've ever seen that Louis Vuitton bag, it like looks like a little croissant. Like it's, it, it like kind of scoops like that. I, I think it's called the croissant. I don't know. 
Um, but it looks like that, except all black, and it's literally $34.99. I mean, come on, how much of a better deal can you get? And honestly, I love that it's not a designer bag, you know? Like, I don't, I don't own any, like, real designer bags. Um, and I love that I don't have to worry about, like, is it going to get messed up or anything? I can toss this guy around, throw it around, bring it wherever, and I don't have to worry about it getting messed up. So... I love this and it looks so cute and I can dress this up or dress it down. I'm a huge fan of things that I can dress up or down. So I will see if I can link this guy for you below as well. That brings me into Forever 21. That's it for H&M. So Forever 21, I only wanted to get some cozies, some like pajamas from there. Um, I needed some more like long pajamas now that we are getting into the cold months. Um, so I found this set. Again, are we surprised that it's beige? <laughs> but they are like a almost like a thermal material and they are like a jogger. So that's the bottom there. They do have a little tie at the waist. There's this cute little pocket on the back on the one side, which I thought was adorable. Uh, the pants were $19.99, and then the top was also $19.99. Um, I sized up a little bit just because if it's loungewear, I like it to fit a little bit looser. Um, I don't like it to be so tight, so I sized it up to a medium. And this is the top. It's a little bit cropped, not like crazy, so I think it might hit like waist length on me, especially since I sized up. But this is the top, and it has that little pocket just like the pants do on the back. And I love that it has this little like raw hem at the bottom. So cute. So this whole set together was $40 and it's actually like, it's got some weight to it. So I have a good feeling that it's gonna keep me nice and warm, so. Okay, and then lastly, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in this, in this vlog or not, but I had posted a TikTok like maybe a month ago or so about Zara loafers. And they were just all black plain loafers saying that they were like the perfect chunky loafers for fall and winter and it like got it gained a lot of attention i'll be honest um people were asking me like do they fit true to size you know were they comfortable and they absolutely were comfortable i should have ordered a seven and a half and i ordered an eight um for shoes with me it just it depends on the shoe i can go either way and then when I got them, they were just a little bit too big. I should have gone with the seven and a half. So I sent them back. And when I asked to exchange them or went to go try to find the seven and a half, they were gone. I was like, well, <laughs> that might've been my fault. I don't know. So I have been searching high and low for like a good loafer that wasn't like overly chunky. Um, that again, wasn't too expensive. I don't like spending a lot of money, especially while my husband and I are saving for a home. I don't, I don't see the need in spending so much money on material stuff. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I find just as much happiness and joy in less expensive stuff than that I do in expensive stuff. I love to have the more expensive stuff. Sure. But it's not the cards right now. It wouldn't be smart for me to go that route. So I was searching high and low for a good loafer. I also wanted something that was different. I didn't want something that was just plain black. I wanted something that would stand out, but also fit with my wardrobe. And I stumbled upon that shoe today at Zara. And it's this guy right here. They were $69.99. And so they have the black sole you can see that but the actual color of the shoe is like this deep burgundy with like the gold buckle and i just absolutely love that i feel like these are just so different and <clears throat> yet like versatile so i can use them with like so many different outfits and i'm so excited to wear these like i cannot wait and they're not like too chunky i feel like they're still very like understated so I'm so excited about these, you guys. So like I was saying, like 
I think I spent maybe under $200 today on all of that. And it's all pretty good quality stuff. I, I say this because I feel like there's so much pressure on TikTok and Instagram these days to spend so much money because we see the latest and greatest of everything from all these influencers. And I want to try to help alleviate some of that pressure to feel like you need to spend so much money just to keep up with what everyone else is doing, because that's absolutely not the case at all. You can still follow the same fashion trends or follow whatever trends and not spend all of that money. Um, it's just, I, I don't like promoting something that's so unattainable or unrelatable. Um, so I think for me, it's just important to maintain that level playing field and understand that my audience might not be on that same playing field as some of these influencers who are, now keep in mind, these influencers are also probably getting a lot of these things gifted to them. Um, that's probably the case for a lot of them. So understand that and just know that you can achieve whatever look you want for whatever price it is that you're willing to pay. So that's all I have to say about that. Um, now that we got that out of the way. So that's everything that I got from the mall today. Um, I did stop at Costco on my way home. I had to get, um, just some stuff for the house, but I also got some Halloween candy because we are going to be handing out, or I'm going to be handing out candy for the kids in the neighborhood here. If you need to buy candy in bulk, go to Costco, save yourself some money. Um, but yeah, now that I'm home, I think my husband and I are going to order some Chinese food. I think I want some soup from there. With it being chillier outside, I think it feels like a really good soup day, but I think I'm going to end off the vlog here. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me today. And, um, you know, sticking with me on this, on this journey. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Um, uh, I'd love to see you guys here. If you have not already, please click that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.